This dish is so that we can send a Wi-Fi signal 10 kilometers away to Alex and Brandon over at the SFU Surrey campus. Now, we've actually played around with Ubiquiti's dish-based long-range Wi-Fi before, but I did not set it up properly. So while we did manage to send a Wi-Fi signal across our parking lot, which was further than we would have been able to do with a conventional router, that wasn't that impressive. But that all changes today. Mike from Ubiquity is back and he's gonna be showing us how to do it properly. Looking for an affordable and reliable VPN? Private internet access encrypts your internet traffic and uses a safe, protected IP. Check it out today at the link below. So Brandon and Alex should be in this parking lot right here. So as long as there's no tree branches or decorative log things in the way of that, hopefully we'll get a signal. Uh, so are you guys set up right now? Uh, like, sort of. I've, I'm like 90% done setting up the camera. Okay. And then and you called, what's up? Has Alex started building dishes or anything yet? He started building one of them, yeah. Okay. Small one. Yep, uh, go ahead, put it back in the car. Um, we're not gonna use it. Don't build the small one, Alex. Uh. That one should be fine for this project, but because of all the mist in the air, we actually changed gears a little bit, and instead, we're gonna use the Rocket AC Gen 2. Uh, you've got chain one and chain zero, which are your vertical and your horizontal. These are connected to the antenna right here. We've got some indicator LEDs that are you can actually use to see in real time, like if you're pointed the right way, though don't worry, there's more precise ways to do that. And then you've also got an additional antenna spot here for GPS. Uh, all that's left on here on the front is this dish. You wanna make sure this doesn't get dented or anything like that. That'll change the shape of the signal. And then, uh, what was this one called again? Feed horn. A feed horn. That's where you feed it. Hello, it's Alex. How are you guys doing so far? How close are you guys? We're all set up. Um, we have the stand mostly built and we're about at the stage of attaching the satellite to the stand. Okay, do you know how to power it? Not a clue. Okay, well, you guys should have a big battery. Yeah, it's charging right now. It wasn't charged? Yeah, mostly decharged over the weekend. Uh, cool, well, why don't you guys finish up what you're doing and we'll get ours powered up in the meantime and then we'll be able to walk you through what to do. All right. Boom, pull. So we're like pretty much, we're very close to being done now. Also, my hands are freezing. I feel like that having a red camera just makes you more official and nobody questions if you're allowed to be there. Um, like if you can get that approved now? We might be getting kicked off because where we need to sit to connect between the two campuses isn't technically campus property. So although we do have permission to park, we might not have permission to build a Wi-Fi antenna, so. Where are we aiming exactly? Uh, kind of to the right of the tall tree. Can somebody point at the tree? The, the, the tall tree. Can you, can you look at the tall tree, Max? There's two. So, uh, who's kicking you out? The mall security. The mall security. The car park that we're on is technically the shopping centers. So yeah, we don't have permission to work here. Okay. The great thing is like right after we filmed the intro today, I was like, wow, everything's going so smoothly. But through the fog of war, I couldn't see. It's just fog. So we got completely kicked out of the parking lot, which would be bad, except now we're inside where it's warm which is nice. And we might have, through that great big window behind me, a direct line of sight to the Burnaby campus. I'm not entirely sure, but we'll be able to find out. It's our best bet at the moment and we're warm, which is great, so. So theoretically, all they have to do is fire it up, set it to our SSID, and then configure their antenna, and we should be able to start dialing them in, assuming we have actual line of sight, which we can't verify until we do that. So this is approximately what we want, right? We can't even see those trees anymore. That's crazy, like how much fog the fog. Holy crap. So if we're firing like, you know, 10 city blocks away, we're not getting any sync, are we? It's gonna be challenging for sure. 
at least I have this handy tripod to support me as I go through this. So you guys are powered up now? Yep. Okay, do you have a laptop plugged into the other Ethernet port? Um, what other Ethernet port? Um... I'm sending you a picture. Okay. Please tell me you guys have two Ethernet cables. Yep, I got it, and we do have two Ethernet cables. Oh, yep, this makes way more sense now. <laughs> okay, good. And then I'll walk you through some, um, some IP stuff. All right. Uh, okay, so sorry, 192.168.1.6. Uh, um, it says this site can't be reached. Uh, no, 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 you're supposed to change your laptop's IP address to that manually. Oh. Okay, now you should just go into a web browser and type in 192.168.1.20. Okay, so now you guys have to do your darndest through the fog to point at SFU Burnaby. Yeah, do you know um, roughly like what heading I should be pointing at or anything? <laughs> I, think, I don't know. <laughs> the idea was that we were gonna have like binoculars and we were just gonna kind of look at each other. And that is clearly not gonna be a thing. Okay, go to uh, the settings cog and then wireless. Under control frequency scan list, change it to on and type in 5300. I'm, I probably underestimated how far off north you guys need to be looking. It's like probably 40 degrees off. Yeah. And looking at where you guys are looking out of that building, I don't see how we're gonna get a link. Also, if this doesn't work, we have permission to go back up onto the parking lot. Oh, really? So we're back outside. Hopefully it doesn't rain again. At least now we kind of know where we're supposed to point. It's sort of like that way by where that great big crane is, I think. Those also are pictures that were taken like a year ago, so who knows? If we can't hit the parking lot when they get out there, one of our staff actually has a place that is almost exactly due south of here, which means we would basically just align ourselves with the window and point straight out of it, if we have a line of sight to them. Oh, we are set back up again. You're set up, okay, fantastic. Yeah. Sorry, we're, we're exploring other options since otherwise we were just kind of sitting here being useless while you guys did all the work. And uh, we were thinking Tyler's house might actually make sense. I don't know if you've been there before. Oh, yes, I have. Well, either way, it's going to be tight, like in terms of trees and stuff. But yeah. But Tyler's place may actually be a decent bet. Okay, Team B is heading to a new location on the roof of one of our staff's houses. We think that it's gonna be a little bit easier to hit because it's almost directly due south of here. So it's a bit easier to eyeball. Also, there isn't a new building that went up since we scouted the locations. How are you guys doing up there? Um, pretty good. We had some food. Is it raining? Uh, no, there's like kind of a Wonderful. sunset. Actually, the sun just set, so we don't really have great light anymore, but it was pretty fantastic right before we started filming. Yeah, our lighting was great all day, and now we're just using like a, an LED lamp on the camera. So this video, at the very least, is gonna look like garbage at the end. Like, I feel like garbage, so the video might as well like... Really just bring it home. <laughs> great. Here, actually, whereabouts are you on the roof? Um, kind of like the middle right corner. Middle right, what's a right corner? Okay, yeah, that's, that's a horrible descriptor. Um, like the north corner. Can you see the building kind of to the right of that one with the red on it, right? What? So there's like a white box on the top of it, I think. Okay, yeah, I see it. So basically, do you see that white box? So shoot at the mountain above that. Wait, no, hold on, let me double check because um, I actually might not have put our, our pin on the exact window that we're at. No, I didn't. Hold on one second. Let me just correct that. All right. This is such a stupid way to do this. I can't think of a better way, so. Okay, just make sure I have that mark in the right spot because even a couple of degrees, like if we can get you guys locked in, then we can just adjust until we hit you. I'm trying to get the height right now, which is kind of hard to do because we're supposed to do like two degrees, but this is very far from level. It's all 
like this. So I think it would maybe like five degrees is good, but. You've got it to two degrees ish? Yeah, ish because this whole roof is like. Psh. Yeah, it's as good as I can get it. What a pain. <laughs> <sighs> I have such a headache right now. Yeah, at least it's not raining now. Yeah, that's good. So if I just like, if I just like scan past, like kind of fast, do you guys see a blip? Nothing. Like not, not a thing. There wasn't even like maybe noise in there. Yeah, nothing at all. Um, yeah, not a thing. All right, I think it's time to call it, guys. Thanks everyone, good work today. Well, I mean, the kind of work that's good, but like doesn't achieve anything. <laughs> Okay, so it's been a few months and we are back at it again. This time- Sure there's a bit of wind to toss my hair. I've got binoculars. They're not great binoculars. I've got a rooftop and I've got a clear shot to Maple Ridge. Now we already realized that we don't have a pole for our stand here that seems to have gotten lost at some point. But the good news is I'm on my parents' rooftop and the odds of them having a random pole sitting around somewhere, very good. Here's one. Did not stage that. That one doesn't fit. Ugh. I can smell success. Um, that looks pretty, uh, whoop. Um, uh, pretty almost ready to be called steady. This wasn't tight. So it's like that way-ish, or like over there. We're not totally sure. All right. We are pulled. Oh, almost. Dang it. Ed should have really brought a compass. Okay. Hello. Hey, hey there, buddy. Okay, so the satellite dish hooked up, everything's powered on. I can't get the setup to work on it. Uh, yeah, I think it's because we're reconfigured with different static IPs and stuff, so I think you might have to factory reset it. Okay, so that's just when you push the little thingy in the thingy. Yeah, the thingy in the thingy. You'll need yeah. to find a small thingy. Yeah. I really wish Mike was here because I'm looking at some of the tools in the thing and I don't even remember ever looking at this stuff. Yeah, same. Okay, I'm into the um, spot where I need to log in. Okay, cool. UBNT, UBNT. U for up, B for butt, N for nut, T for testicle. I put that in for both of them. Yeah. I don't know which of us is the, um, is the access point and which of us is the client. And I think it matters. Man. Okay, what antenna do you have set? Um, RD 5G 30, 30 DBI. Wait, what a, wait a minute. You just shared your location with me five minutes ago? Is that you? Like, yeah, like a couple seconds ago, yeah. Okay, so the Golden Ears Bridge is right behind you. So you guys are in Pit Meadows. Uh, okay, so there's the Golden Ears Bridge. Holy crap, that's really far away. How close are you guys to identifying where I am? Um, very, very not close. We definitely should have had binoculars, but. Uh, if I was looking past you, what would I see past you? Would I see if you were looking me? past me, um, the, the river, basically. Um, we're like right beside the river. There's a bunch of trees. A bunch of trees, not gonna do a lot for me. Okay, now we're talking. And what part of it is directly behind you? You see how it's got four sets of supports? That's part of the problem right now. I'm having a really hard time seeing the water because I think there's a lot of trees and crap along the shore. And also the water is brown, which definitely doesn't help. Yeah, everything's brown at this distance because it's a like pretty clear day, but it's not a perfectly clear day. Okay, I know where you guys are. What does your building look like? Okay, so my building is the one with all of the like kind of blade looking uh, things on the top of it. Yeah, you, can't you can't see that well? Okay. 
Why didn't you guys get binoculars? Do you want to do anything like a mirror to bounce? Maybe like reflect to us? Uh, yeah, I've got like a gigantic golden bounce. All right, do you want to start bouncing then? I'm going to start bouncing it, baby. Like, you guys are so far away, man. I don't know if there's any way you're going to be able to see this, but okay, I'm, I'm gold. Damn. You see me? Yep, I see you. No way! Yes, I can see it. <laughs> okay, well that, there you go. That's where we are. Do you, All right, perfect. Do you need me to hold it up so that you guys can aim? I think we're good now. Oh, freaking A. I cannot believe that worked. Oh, oh, I'm so excited. Do we know how far we are? Uh, how far are you? I think it's about 12 kilometers. It's like eight miles for the American viewers. It's far. Okay, cool. You're on speaker because we're recording everything. Don't say anything incriminating, you know? Uh, okay, so so how would they search for me? Just the alignment tool? The alignment tool uh, would be best to use, yeah. It, it'll make sounds depending on the signal that it detects. So the align tool though should work now that I have set an access point frequency and they should be able to just see stuff. Yes, it should, it should help for pointing. I believe the alignment tool should give you kind of like a, like it should give you a more better idea when you're kind of getting close to something. There's a toggle switch for audio though, I think. Thank you. I'll give you a call if we need any more help, which okay. will probably happen. Right. Okay, Sorry. goodbye. Sorry. I'll be here. Right. Cool. All right, let's call Alex back up. Hello. Hey, okay, so theoretically, right now we are about as set up as we can be. Turn on the audio indicator. Okay. And now we just have to try and hit each other. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. What, 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 why wasn't this coming up before? I didn't even touch it. <laughs> we hit him. I didn't even adjust it. We're at uh, current signal, minus 80 decibels. That is well within yeah. the threshold. Check this out, Brandon, we got two bars, baby. Okay, that beeping is really friggin' annoying. I'm gonna turn that right off there now. Yeah. Okay. So, should I have internet now? Uh, no, wait. Okay, we should be able to share a file between our two computers at the very least. Oh. Okay, so here we have it. I can see Alex's computer, FU Linus folder, that's very nice. Okay, here we go. This is it. Two megs a second, dang. So that's 20 megabit from here to 12 kilometers away under a bridge somewhere. Brandon, don't die. <laughs> All right, so uh, do you guys want, you know what? Why don't I do the fine tuning for now? Because you guys had something to, to aim at exactly, whereas I could be just kind of close-ish. Yeah. Okay, so that just got worse. Are you guys looking at the indicator right now too? Yeah, it just went down for me. So I'm a little bit off to the left. Give me one second. Okay, is that better now? Um, it's not as good as before. Really? I still have 74. Oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't, don't change anything yet. Okay, not changing anything. Okay, I'm at as good as I've seen yet. So you can go ahead and you can try and adjust your height and or your whatever and let's see what we see. All right, I'm just gonna push it a very small amount. 73, 71, 72. Okay, I'm going to need to like put a box underneath the front leg of our thing. <laughs> Fantastic. I can't believe how aligned we were at the start based on how small the adjustments that I'm making are. Yeah, we just did our vertical adjustment and that did, that got us down to 71. So I think that I can't be any more aligned. Okay, well, you can try horizontal. Like, let's just see what happens. Just play with it just a little bit. Oh, wow, that's much worse. Yeah, this is like fractions of a degree. Okay, so all that's left now is for me to play around with height then. Oh, that's better for me. That's better. Minus 67. Yeah. Minus 65. I got four bars, baby. Four bars, come check it out. Oh damn, we got four bars. Let me see if I can get a little bit more. We're at what, negative 61, damn. Okay, should we do another speed test? Okay, I'm ready to copy the bigger file. Dang, 15 megs a second. 
150 megabit Wi-Fi over 12 kilometers. And it only took us six months to set up. <laughs> all right, I think that's pretty much it, gentlemen. So all that's left to do now then is tear this down because we don't actually need to beam a network connection between the roof of my parents' building and uh, a park somewhere in Pitt Meadows. Uh, but it was still cool to see this in action, actually freaking working, and I think it's probably got a lot of gears turning in your guys' heads in terms of how long-range Wi-Fi like this could be applied, whether it's like personally or for business or whatever the case may be. And speaking of business, FreshBooks. FreshBooks is the cloud-based accounting solution for small business owners and freelancers. It's built for how you want to work and it's a simple way to be more productive, more organized, and to get paid faster. You can create and send professional looking invoices in less than 30 seconds. You can set up online payments with just a couple of clicks and get paid up to four days faster. And you can track your hours and your expenses on the go with their apps for both Android and iOS. So, for an unrestricted 30-day free trial, go to freshbooks.com slash tech tips. We're going to have that linked below and you can try out FreshBooks for yourself. Just enter Linus Tech Tips in the how did you hear about us section. So thanks for watching guys. If you disliked this video, you can hit that button. But if you liked it, hit like, get subscribed, or maybe consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured at the link in the video description. Also down there is our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one and our community forum, which you should totally join.